Here I have the silhouette image of the ornamental design. I'm going to open this image in the Inkspace software. And there I'm going to trace this image and I will create a scalable vector graphic. If you don't know how to use this vector graphic software, then you should watch the tutorial on YouTube. After tracing, I will get this scalable vector graphic. I can delete the image and then keep this vector graphic. Here I can change the color of it. Then I will save this file as a SVG file, a scalable vector graphic. Then I am going to import this SVG file in Blender. So go to the file, import and import SVG. Then turn off the wireframe so you can see the shape. Then I'm going to add a plane to understand the scale of the graphic. Select that SVG file and increase its scale. Then set the origin to the geometry and snap it to the 3D cursor. And increase the scale a little bit. Then delete that plane. Now this SVG file is in the curve format. Now we need to decrease the resolution of it so we can get less vertex count. So decrease the resolution to 2. And then we need to convert it into the mesh. And then go to the edit mode, select these faces and make a separate object. We don't want this object here and hide it. Then go to the edit mode and select everything and delete only faces. And then you need to select these edges and you need to delete these edges. Then select these edges and press Shift G and select similar with the direction. So you can select the edges in the same horizontal direction. And deselect some edges which we don't want to delete. And then delete these edges. Then there are few remaining edges which we need to delete. So select these edges and delete these edges. Here we need to merge the words together. Select these words and merge them at the center. And if it's necessary, then add more words at there by subdividing. After that, take the symmetry and then press F to fill the gap. Then take the symmetry and then use the knife tool and create a cutout like this and delete this shape. We just want only this much part. Now delete that default material and then go to the edit mode. We want to delete vertices which are too close to each other. So select everything and merge by distance. And here you need to adjust the merging distance. You can see the before and after. And then take the symmetry. Now delete one half of the model. Now I am going to use a card remishify add-on. It is free add-on which you can install. In this add-on you need to increase the density up to 10. So you can get less topology. Then save your file and then click on this remesh button. And it will take little time and then you will get this kind of topology. It is good core based topology. But it is too dense. For that we need to modify this topology manually. I try different add-ons to reduce the topology like blender remesh. As well as the decimate modifier. But it is not working accurately. So that's why you need to spend little time. And you need to modify this topology as per your requirement. I just want a flat surface at there. So I will try to maintain the outer edge loop at there. And I will try to reduce the inner topology. We can keep the topology as it is. Which we get from the core remesh if I add on. And we can use this base mesh for the sculpting also. So after spending little time, I will get this kind of topology. You can see here I have reduced pretty much good amount of topology. Then I can add the sub-D modifier and you can see I am getting good result. Now you can compare the topology for these two objects with the core remeshify add-on and after modifying that topology, you can see. Then you can take the symmetry and you will get this kind of result. It is looking really well. You can add a simple deform modifier on it and you can use the bend option and you can deform this object. So you can use this kind of ornament on the pillar or interior design something like that. 
you can use this modeling process in your work and it is going to save your time and efforts so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel bye bye see so next video take care